Welcome everybody to a wonderfully exciting edition of Success in the Classroom. We are on location today at Gulf Breeze High School with their Air Force ROTC. And joining me today, I have some wonderful cadets. And we'll just start here if you could let everybody know, our viewers and our listeners know who you are and what your rank is. I am Cadet Chief Master Sergeant Andrew Robinson. I am Cadet Major Kai Dak. I am Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Dory Rubin. I am Cadet Paige Lawrence. I am uh, Cadet Colonel. I am the Corps uh, Corps Commander. Wonderful. So thank you all so much for joining us today. Um, I know we have a lot of exciting stuff to see uh, during our time here, but talk to our viewers a little bit about what it means to be a cadet in the Air Force ROTC, the only Air Force ROTC program that we have here in Santa Rosa District Schools. What What is that like? Um, it's mostly just like creating self-confidence and discipline um, to kind of keep a regular like moral basis. I think it's a lot about, I guess, finding myself and develop, developing myself within like leadership amongst my peers, uh, self-confidence, confidence, and then kind of just like I guess maturing. Uh, I think you are just a good, you have to be a good representation of the school because sometimes people aren't very good representations of what the school can be and so the school likes to have people that they can put out in front and show how good of a school we are and ROTC really does help with because everybody in here is taught to be a good leader and taught to be like a good student too. I look at Jared to see as opportunity, opportunity to grow, opportunity to lead, opportunity to meet new people, and opportunities for later in life as well. Wonderful. Wow, you guys are so, that. I mean, that is awesome. So on a daily basis, when you show up to school or you um, get to this particular class each day, what happens? What, what does the day look like for a cadet in AFROTC? We have cadets. Um, that come in at like 7.30, like 7, kind of 20 in the morning. Uh, we do have drill outside, we have specific teams, um, or we can just have cadets come in if their parents are like going to work and they need just an early ride to ROTC, we're open. When we come into the classroom, it's kind of just like a regular classroom. We all sit down, we all have something that we're going to learn about that day. Um, we have our leadership positions within the flights, like our flight commander, flight sergeant, um, and then our element leaders are in these front desks. Mm -hmm. um, we have our management standing to the side to help with anything kind of uh, that the cadets have questions about. Okay. Um, and we learn about different things. And so we have survival class, we have uh, cultural studies, and space, like exploration studies. Okay. So guys, let me ask you, um, prior to getting into high school, did you ever see yourself as this leader? D definitely not. I was the quiet kid in the back of the classroom. It, uh, just raised my hand to answer the questions and moved on. You would never see me at the front, uh, front and center of anything. I was the support character. Okay, the support character. I like that. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I was kind of the same way or like I had to be if I was going to go in the front of the classroom I'd have to be with like a group of friends or somebody like if I was by myself I would get too nervous and not be able to like talk or just get embarrassed or like Think it was awkward to be doing it, but now that I'm in ROTC I mean like she said I could go in the front of any class and talk About whatever is the study for that class that day. That is awesome. So looking ahead, um, adulthood is, is right around the corner uh, for many of you. So when you leave Gulf Breeze High School, are you interested in joining the service or going to college, doing both? What does this path look like after high school for you guys? I think for all of us, it's all very different. Mine is I'm pursuing the um, Air Force Academy, and my backup to that is Collegiate ROTC, and then my backup to that is just enlisting. I've wanted to do a um, military-related career since I was maybe 11 years old, and that's kind of one of the main reasons why I joined the program. As a middle schooler, I saw this program, and I was like, that's exactly what I want to do. So I immediately joined, and I've been 100% in this program ever since. Okay. For me, I'm just going to enlist 
right uh, after high school. I'm actually in the process of talking to my recruiter right now so we can get into delayed enlistment so as soon as I cross the stage I can head out to my basic training. Wow. I am going to go to college, probably study in aerospace school, and then from there maybe jump to NASA or join the Air Force. Not really sure yet. Great. Okay. Awesome. That The, the fact that you all have a plan, a backup plan, and a backup plan to that backup <laughs> plan, that, I mean, that, that speaks volumes. So let, let me ask you this, um, for all of our viewers out there, do you feel that the, the opportunities that you've had here at Gulf Breeze High School in Santa Rosa District, have they met your needs thus far in, in being able to uh, make those decisions about what I may potentially want to do leaving high school? Do you? Yes, absolutely. I think especially within ROTC, um, the amount of, I guess, opportunities I've gotten within this program I think is outstanding, honestly, even compared to most other things in the school. Um, I know, I think, us two, and I'm not sure if you guys went, but we went to the um, the 45th anniversary of the, the CISO, like, graduation for the first class that had females within it. Um, it was over at NAS, and we got to talk to some of the first female combat systems operators, which I thought was just absolutely awesome. I was fangirling the entire time. It was so <laughs> cool. And I think that for, I just think that's crazy that this program allowed me to go do that. I think that was crazy and I wouldn't be able to find the opportunity anywhere else and it gave me so much information, like real, just like face-to-face -face information about things and stuff and I could kind of figure out for myself what exactly I want to do. For me, if I like on the ROTC side. If I didn't join ROTC, I'd probably still be out in the hallways having no idea what I was going to do with my life. But after freshman year and like towards the end of sophomore year, Sergeant Garcia and Colonel Nelson start, all right, so what are you planning on doing? And after joining ROTC, the military really spiked my interest. And so I was like kind of deciding if I wanted to go to college or enlist, and then I just decided to enlist. Um. It's been a really great opportunity for me, like, thus far. Um, I remember, it's the same as Robinson, honestly, when uh, I was in my freshman year, I was in the back of the class, I didn't talk um, at all. I was kind of just like, mm, leave me out of this. <laughs> so, and now I can, like, see myself, like, being a team lead or being um, just, like, a person that can help others in, like, a career environment and I think that's great. As we wrap up, if there are any high school students that may be interested, or even middle school students, that may be interested in joining Air Force ROTC when they get to high school, what advice can you give them? Be involved. If you're going to join the JROTC, you got to be involved. You got to give 110% effort. If you give 100% 110% effort into this court, they will give you 2,000% back. This is one of the greatest programs, and if you put as much effort into it as you can, you will have one of the greatest experiences in your high school career. Well, there you have it, folks. Some amazing uh, words of wisdom from our cadets here, and you all have been amazing. Thank you so much. I've been so honored to sit down and, and have you join us today. And hey, we'll see you next time on Success in the Classroom. Aim high. Fight, fight, fight win. win.